saving money and getting back to basics. Have you ever thought about baking your own bread? No need to wonder where to start. How about that, huh? Uh, Katie Hume of Sur La Table is here to show us how easy it is. It's exactly. a no-need bread. Right. There's Did you no, hear that? It is a no-need bread. It's so easy to make. What we're actually going to do is we're going to start by making the dough. I'm actually going to have you do it. All right. Have I'm you, already put to work. Yeah, have you ever made out. bread before? Uh, no. No, I have not made bread. Well, this is going to be. I've had bread. <laughs> well, that's good. I like it on a sandwich. So with this, we're just making the dough. We're right. going to put our yeast in. I already got just flour. Just a little bit. Got, you got I, flour on you already. Sorry. <laughs> then we're going to add our salt in there. Wait, you already put the yeast in? Yes. Okay, the yeast is alive. The yeast is alive. A little, okay. little scary. <laughs> a little scary. Because it's, it's an true. organism. That's right. And what's right? going to happen is once this kind of sits and grows, you're going to see the bubbles. Yeah, I just have a little flour <laughs> on me. I'm sorry. A little, all right, so I we're going to pour all this in here, all yeah. of this water right here. Yeah. And we're going to mix this, this, this all together. You know why I don't really make a lot of bread, because <laughs> I'm making a mess here. You are making but a mess, I'm but not that's clean. all right. Yeah, someone Whatever. else will clean There's it no up. need to uh, worry. Right. <laughs> no need to worry. Hang on, that's a knee slapper. <laughs> How about that? I don't... All right, perfect. Yeah. All right, that's all you have to do, that's right it? there. That's it. We're I just don't gonna, need to do anymore. You don't <laughs> need to do anymore because exactly. we're not needing. Exactly. All right. There's so nothing this, better, you know, than than exactly. fresh. Exactly. This baked has bread. sat together. This is going to sit overnight uh -huh. for about 12 to 18 hours. Okay, we're that's gonna. That's a long overnight. That Katie. is a long overnight. 18 hours. That's like kind of a day and a half. Lot. It's okay. I like to sleep a lot. Yeah. All right. So then it's gonna look like this when it comes when it's done. See how the bubbles growing? That is the live organisms that you're talking about that's growing. And and is this in the refrigerator? Do we put it in the refrigerator? No. You just room temperature about. 70 degrees, that's how the yeast So you don't grows. need, you don't need a refrigerator. You don't need a refrigerator, exactly. For the no need but bread. But you do need it at a good temperature. Do we have enough flour? Because I like doing this, <laughs> this is fun. So we're gonna pour this dough that sat overnight. For 18 hours, for 18 which is hours. really a day and a half. Exactly. Let's be honest, because okay. everybody's making bread. So we're gonna put flour on this, just stick Let's like get a crazy. Lot in there. All right, cool. Yeah, yeah. and All so right, now, uh, usually when you knead, what's gonna happen is you press and you press and you press, and it, it takes it's, a lot of work. There's a lot of stuff that goes into it. It's just it's too much. It's too much. And, where this and, is super easy to right. make. And and so now when you're, uh, where do you get all this stuff? I mean, is this all at the grocery store? Yeah, all at the grocery yeast? store. Yeast that's a at the grocery store. Organism. The active dry the active dry yeast is the best thing to use. Super uh -huh. easy. It's on the flour aisle, the baking aisle. Right. You won't have difficulty finding any of these ingredients. Now I I might, but you, other people you might, but just other, ask yes, and you're good but, to go. But yeah, the regular people <laughs> exactly. they would be able to find yeast. Easy. Exactly. Me. Did you see? Look at that. Woo, that was pretty fun. Did you see that? This is a whole new, this could be a whole new show like that, huh? <laughs> Try it. Here, do it. Just snap it here. Put, snap your fingers. Okay. Uh, nah, go. Yeah, I'm going to do that. Awesome. Yeah, I could be a country western Are you going to help me clean this up afterward? No. So, so you're, you're... All right, so we just set it like this, and uh -huh. then we're going to kind of form it in a ball. Notice how I'm kind of making a crease with it right here? Mm -hmm. It's forming a crease at the bottom, so after it's risen a second time, we're right. going to flip it over, and that crease is going to form a nice shape on the top of the dough. Okay. So you don't have to do anything else except for form this it shape. It is, I mean, we're making fun, but it is very easy. It is super, super easy. And, and so we're going to put great all of this flour too, right, right yeah. here. I mean, great. The kids can help out. The kids I mean, can I've help. I've got young ones. I mean, they would love to play with the flour. It'd be super easy for them yeah. to do. So what do we do now? I got We got something in here. Do I need this? We're actually, that's the before and after. That's so the this before one, and after? Exactly. So it looks like this right here. It's going to rise for another two hours. Because of the yeast. The yeast has to, what's called proofing. So it, it rises so it's nice and airy. And it's holy. still alive. Exactly. Right. Exactly. And then? So then it's going to look like this. See how it's doubled in size? It's a lot bigger. It's grown okay. like it an alien. Grown. It has grown like it's an like alien. It's like an alien yeast. It's true. It's so weird. just make sure this is at a room temperature as well. You want it warm. If you have it in a drafty okay. area, it's cold. It's not going to grow as it's, much as you want it to. Right. And it's going to be really dense bread yeah. and it's going to be gross. Still a little scary about things growing in my house. <laughs> so then what do we need? We need a, a cast so at iron this time, pot? You do need a cast iron pot. At this point, you're going to preheat your oven to 450 degrees. 450. 450. Ah! <laughs> it's about 325. It is. It's not quite there yet. Right. And what you're going to do is you're going to put your cast iron pot into the oven when you preheat it because you want the whole thing really, really hot. Mm -hmm. okay. and now, the cast iron pot, now that's not something everybody has, right? No, so and it really I is. I might have to go to Sur La Table. Yes, your local Sur La Table in order to get a Lake Reset cast iron pot. Right. Okay? Now, show us. We, now, we just have a little what time you're left. Gonna do, yep. What you're going to do is we're going to flip this over into right. our pot like this. Okay. It's going to flip, flip it. over. Flip it. And you're going to pull this off. We don't have a lot of time. Flip exactly. It. Show us, let's, let's see what okay. it looks like right over here. Exactly. It's in the oven. Show us what it looks yep. like over so here. So you cook it mm -hmm. for 30 minutes with the lid on, then mm -hmm. you take the lid off for 15 more minutes, and then it comes out beautiful like it this. It is. That is good. And this exactly. is it right here? Uh -huh. Can I have a bite? Exactly. Mm. It's nice and crusty on the outside, mm. very moist and airy on the inside. Mmm. That's good. For a copy of today's recipe, check out our website, wfaa.com slash GMT, or uh, head over to Sir La Table. Okay? Katie, thanks for being here.